It's Earth Day, so let's explore something a little different. Florida is mostly known for its beaches, but if you think about any other type of habitat, you'll generally revert to the Everglades, very much marsh, wetland, and swamp habitat, and we've got plenty of it. But there are some very unique habitats in Florida as well, and this is one of them. Welcome to Florida Scrub Habitat. This area used to be a coastal dune system when sea levels were higher. Now it's an island surrounded by land, harboring a unique assemblage of desert-like plants and animals. Scrub habitats like this are characterized by well-drained, nutrient-poor, sandy soils. That means rainwater easily drains down through the loose sand and out of reach of most plants. This results in special adaptations like deep tap roots or large shallow root mats that help trap whatever rain is available as it falls. Root competition often results in large sandy areas as plants compete for space. The plants that grow here have many adaptations to conserve water. The most obvious is the prickly pear cactus, which can store lots of water within its tissues. The prickly pear probably made its way to Florida from the Midwest when the climate was much drier and the sea levels much lower, connecting these habitats. Other plants, like the scrub oaks, have thick waxy cuticles that prevent loss of water through evaporation. There are several species, each with slightly different leaves, but they are not trees. They remain scrappy looking shrubs, no more than about 8 feet in height. Oak in the scrub can often have love vine all over it. Love vine is a native Florida plant that winds itself around the branches of its host plant with small appendages that burrow into the oak to steal nutrients. One of my favorite plants in the scrub is rosemary. It isn't related to the culinary rosemary from the Mediterranean, but it is a very characteristic scrub plant. The needle-like leaves are adapted to conserve water. Gopher apple is a very low-lying ground cover with deep roots that extend outward with new growth. This plant relies on fire to clear space for it to grow, and the fruit it produces is food for the gopher tortoise. The pawpaw is a small bush with maladorious foliage, meaning it doesn't smell very good, deterring herbivores from taking a bite. Their fragrant cream-colored flowers are constructed with three petals giving them a triangular look. If you look carefully, you may find lichen covering the sand. Lichen represent a symbiotic relationship between algae and a fungus, and work together to make a living on the hot sand. This amazing landscape is just one of Earth's many natural wonders. As we celebrate Earth Day, get out and explore the world around you. Because if we don't appreciate it, habitats like this will fall victim to more development. I hope you enjoyed checking out the scrub habitat with me here today. It's really one of the more unique places here in Florida. And of course, remember to subscribe for more adventures and keep exploring.